Hello friends. So in today's session, we will discuss about uh, relax and recover. Means you know, like uh, we will understand in today's session, like uh, what is a relax and recover, like rear back up, and uh, when we we can use this one. Okay. Okay. So uh, like you know, this uh, relax and recover is a very useful software. Okay, and through this we can do multiple things, multiple things. But in today's session, uh, I'm going to uh, tell you about only the major part, like you know. So, like through uh, this, what we can do in our real life. Okay, fine. So now let me tell you the some scenario-based uh, problem. For example, uh, like we are working a, working in any organization. Okay, and that organization, uh, like. Uh, Clients application and DVS are running on the like you know RHL 6, 7 and the SUS 11. Okay, so like suppose like RHL 6 now uh, it, vendor is not uh, supporting that. Are, if if you need you have to pay extra uh, cost right. So vendor is not supporting. So then client have to upgrade the their system right. Okay, so for example that some client ABC. Is there and that client is holding you know multiple uh, RHL 6 machine box so like uh, uh, around uh, 50 hundred uh, servers so now clients are uh, client need to you know up that uh, wants to upgrade the system RHL 6 to 7 okay so obviously uh, like if they need we can do the through the online that is one normal process like in I can say that is in place upgrade like same thing is for SUSE apply apply for SUSE also so in, in, in we can do the in place upgrade right but suppose now client is giving you know like client uh, at time uh, like uh, 10 to 20 server okay and, and then then client is telling okay hey I need I will give you only the two hours window means two hours downtime like only the two hours they will stop their application and database so in two hours, it's very difficult to upgrade all the 10 to 20 servers, right? So it's a very like a, like a, I can say it's a like it's a, like problem for the who doing the upgrade. Then what we can do? So here, like you know, it's a we can use the real recover. It's a very useful tool, and that through this real recover we can do that one. So now how how it will work? Okay, that is the question now. Okay, we can use that area recover, but how it will work here? Because the client is giving only the two hours window, right? Then how it will work? So, like you know, it will work. So, like you know, what you have to do. So, in this uh, session, I'm not going to exp going to explain about the practically. I'm just giving the overview. If you require, if you want, please. Uh, comment in in a comment section and uh, send me the email so I will prepare the another video and I will show you the practical how to do that one okay okay so now how it will work I'm just giving the overview so what you have to do for example and uh, like you like you uh, have RHL 6 machine okay Red Hat 6 and uh, you don't want to you know uh, like uh, uh, like uh, you know build a new server like you wants to do like you know carry forward like six to seven that in place you want to do okay so that time what you have to do you have to install the rear software on your RHL 6 machine after the installation you have to create the you know on site.com so in that site.com means it's you have to tell like which file system you want to take the backup okay generally we need only the os file system like uh, boot root home opt where usr tam okay so this kind of uh, os related file system we need to take the backup okay so then in that site.com like we have to tell like which kind of uh, uh, file system we need to take the backup and then we have to give the specify the one of the path like you know NFS path. So there, when we will run that command, you know it will store the all the data backup data on the NFS server. So once we will take the backup, then what we have to do, we have to create one uh, like uh, you know a dummy server. So dummy server means uh, uh, we can build one uh, VM and without the operating system. And then we can 
restore that uh, backup on the staging VM and then we can you know we can do the whatever we want we can want like so now it's a it's a kind of clone once you restore it's a kind of clone we have to assign the new IP and then we can do the upgrade on the staging VM like a dummy VM okay so like suppose if you have a 10 server a 20 server 100 server so only you can you can you know uh, you can build a two and three dummy server, and uh, in in that dummy server in a background you can do this activity like you can restore and do the acti upgrade. So you are not touching the you know client server, production server or whatever dev dev server. You are not touching that one. We are taking the backup and we are doing in the background. So in a background you can do the all the 20, 10, 10, 20 server. Okay. And then once you done the take the backup or once you upgrade upgrade the system RHL 627 like 7 to 8 whatever so once you done again you take the backup and then once you like you know then you can ask to client hey can you give me the now uh, window two hours so we are ready to uh, like uh, ready to uh, restore the upgraded uh, version on your production machine so in this way it will work so like suppose if you have 100 servers okay so no need to create a 100 staging vm only the one and two is enough so one by one you can do once one one server will done again you same process you can apply for the next server same process server, next 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 like that and the, you can that all the uh, backup you can you know we are giving the nfs server details right so we will store that all the backup on the nfs server on the in a in a cutover window like in a window change window like uh, when the client will give the downtime then in that in that time we will copy the ISO that it's it, so once you run the real recovery it will create the ISO on the NFS server so we will download that one and we will attach that ISO on the client production machine and then we can boot the system and we can restore the upgraded version OS. So it this this will you know, this way it will work okay so oh it's a, like it's a very easy yeah but when I'm telling it's a, some like you you will feel the some tricky but when we will do in a practically it's a very easy okay so if you want you know like uh, like how to perform this activity uh, how to do so then please uh, in a comment section please comment and uh, and send me the email so i will prepare the end of the video and i will show you how to do that one okay so thank you and uh, please subscribe my channel because i can see lots of people only the watching the video and not subscribing my channel so please support me and uh, if you think it's uh, this these videos are uh, useful for you then please support me and please like and share and comment thank you thanks for your watching